हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट शॉर्टेस्ट रिमेनिंग टाइम फर्स्ट स्केड्यूलिंग एल्गोरिथम विच इज एस जे एफ विथ प्रियम्शन वेलकम हियर एंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट शॉर्टेस्ट रिमेनिंग टाइम फर्स्ट स्केड्यूलिंग एल्गोरिथम विच इज अ प्रियम्टिव एस जे एफ ओके सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन शॉर्टेस्ट जॉब फर्स्ट एंड बट देर इज नो प्रियम्शन इन वॉल्व बट ह्यूर इन दिस केस वी आर गोइंग टू प्रियम अवर शेड्यूल एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज शॉर्टेस्ट रिमेनिंग टाइम फर्स्ट स्केड्यूल प्रियम्शन ऑफ रनिंग प्रोसेस इज बेस्ड ऑन अराइवल ऑफ न्यू शॉर्टर प्रोसेस ओके सो नाउ थिंक ओवर अ सिचुएशन वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू प्रियम इज सपोज पी वन अराइव एट जीरो एंड रिक्वायर्ड बर्स टाइम फोर and p2 arrives at 1 which which is uh, which is having burst time 2 then the ideal situation will be like this that it starts with 0 and there will be a process p1 running and it will run till one time unit at this time instance p2 will enter into this arrives in this queue and at this particular instance at one time unit p1 is left with three unit time of the burst time and this is left with 2 and because 2 is less we will preempt p1 and start scheduling p2 for remaining two time okay so that is your uh, preemption and it is based on the arrival of new shorter process okay so that is the idea of a shortest remaining time first This is the example that we are discussing for this shortest remaining time first, and uh, the first thing that we do here is we draw the 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 Gantt chart. Okay, so we'll first draw the Gantt chart and see that how this will behave. At the same time, we have to keep track that what exactly what we are remaining with. Like here, uh, we start with this uh, process of drawing the Gantt chart, and in that. We are definitely going to schedule zero, and we will schedule P one uh, till this uh, arrival time of one, right? So here I'll schedule P one, and at one time instance, the moment this will arrive, now this will be no longer eight. This will become seven. Why? Because we have already processed uh, this one unit of this uh, eight burst time. at here i'll compare at one time 7 and 6 and i find 6 to be lesser so we are going to schedule will preempt p1 and we schedule p2 at two time instance let's say this arrives at this time instance this will remain 7 this will become what because we have done processing this will become 5 and now we have a choice of 4 5 and 7 and definitely we are going to preempt again and schedule p3 so i schedule p3 for one time unit and at the three time at this three instance one more unit arrive one more process arrive now this four will become what four will become three and this new process is having burst time of 2 and definitely which is lesser among all and we are going to schedule what in this case we are going to schedule p4 and after one unit i will check here after one unit of time this will become 1 at 4 this arrives 6 1 3 5 7 and still p4 is the least one so i'll continue with p4 over here now at five time instance uh, this will become what this will be gone or it will be over five time instance now have available all the process with the shorter burst time will be scheduled first and no preemption required afterwards because all have been arrived so in p6 what we are going to do is uh, is shorter is 1 3 5 7 and one is the shortest one so we are going to schedule p6 from 5 to 6 and after that we are going to schedule p3 which is uh, three time unit and that will make it to nine then we are going to schedule uh, we are done with the three and then we are going to do with five which is p2 and that will make it to 14 then uh, we have a p5 with the shorter burst time as six 
so that will uh, be 5 and that will make it 20 okay uh, 6 that will make it 20 and finally p1 uh, which will make it 27 okay so this is the gantt chart and uh, till here till i schedule this one after that it is the pure sjf you talk about completion time p1 completion time is what p1 completion time is 27 uh, P2 completion time is uh, when I'm completing P2, so I'm completing at 14. Uh, P3 completion time is uh, 9, this part, 9. And uh, P4 completion time is uh, 5. P6 completion time is uh, 6. Okay, P5 completion time is 20. And P6 completion time is 6. Okay, so verify your result that there is a 27, there is a 14. Uh, we are completing P2, yes, and P3 is getting completed 9. P3, and then uh, completion time for uh, P4 is 5. So yes, it is 5 and 26. Turnaround time is the arrival time and, and minus your uh, completion time minus arrival time. So this is your turnaround time 27, this is 13, this is 7, this is 5 minus 3 that is equal to 2, okay, and uh, 20 minus 4 that is 16, uh, 20 minus 4 that is 16, sorry, and 6 minus 5 that is equal to 1. So that is your completion time, sorry, turnaround time. Waiting time is what? Waiting time is the burst time. Take out the burst, burst out of it. And uh, 27 is the turnaround. Seven, uh, 8 is the burst time, right? Just be aware of it. 8 is the burst time. Okay, so waiting time is how long the process been waited. And 27 minus 8. Now, we will not consider here this 7. Huh? Don't consider it. This is for our uh, understanding and our uh, convenience. We have, uh, I have written here 7. So, 27 minus 8, that will become 19. 13 minus 6 uh, that will become 7 7 minus 4 that will become 3 uh, 2 minus uh, 2 burst time that is 0 that p4 is not waiting anymore right p4 is not at all p4 arrived arrived at uh, 3 and scheduled immediately 16 minus 6 that is 10 and 1 minus 1 even p6 is not waiting only uh, p6 is also not waiting 1 minus 1 is 0 okay so that is a, is a complete uh, uh, shortest uh, remaining SRTF remaining time first scheduling algorithm. This is the another example and I leave it uh, to you as, uh, as an homework. You complete this particular problem. Performance of shortage of first is, is, is we have already seen SJF performance and uh, average waiting time and the turnaround time will be reduced, right? So that we have already seen that it is giving us definitely good, uh, good uh, average turnaround and uh, waiting time. It is implementable with predicted and est estimated burst time. Okay, so uh, we cannot, we cannot, we cannot. Uh, uh, find the exact how much burst time it will take but somehow uh, with the scenario present and the past history we can do the prediction that what can be the estimated burst time starvation for the longer job i already uh, told you this and uh, it is really not implementable means exact implementation is not possible because burst time we cannot uh, nobody you know advertise uh, what exactly the burst time is Right. So this is, is this is it for uh, short SRTF, shortest remaining time first, which give you really good advantage in terms of waiting time in the restaurant. The next topic is uh, is is uh, SJF with the predicted burst time. SJF with predicted burst time. Okay. So that's all for this discussion. Thank you.